Hello and welcome to another week of Sambo Eye Racing. It's week three, season two, 2024. We are in the Ray Formula Ford FF 1600 at Winton Motor Raceway for their national layout. This is a great track. It's a great combo. It's going to be so much fun this week. I uh, massively enjoyed testing in the Ford just as much as I did in the uh, Formula V. And I hope you guys enjoy learning the track with me. Anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, what we do is we sit in the cockpit and we go through it and I show you my braking markers. Then we go through full speed run through in chase mode and then back in the cockpit with the driving line on for a final time. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get in the cockpit, start the lap. Okay, so here we are to start the lap. So across the line up into fourth gear. And now we're looking for the braking marker for turn one and two, the Motorsport News S's. So it's going to be just before the 50 meter marker and midway through this uh, entrance road that we've got on the right hand side here. So as I get midway, I'm going to brake really hard in a straight line. If people want to know my brake bias, I'm running it at 54% for this. So braking hard in a straight line. As I start moving towards the apex, trailing it off putting on a little bit of maintenance throttle, a little bit of a blip as I drop it down into second gear. Kissing this uh, corner curbing on the left hand side, building back up on the throttle to get across for the next and I just do a little lift to get the rotation around turn two here. Up to third gear, going over the rumble strips. Just before the 50 meter marker, so just after the Marshall post is my next braking zone. So as I get there, I'm going to come off the uh, throttle. I'm going to briefly hit up to 90%, trail it off quickly, go down to second gear, kiss this curbing on the right hand side, building back up on the throttle. So you drift out wide, don't go on the sand here. Now for the next corner here, uh, for Nissan corner, I'm just going to do a big lift, so I'm up at 100% throttle, I turn in, I'm going to do a big lift down to almost nothing and then build straight back up, getting right on the rumble strip, touching the grass a tiny bit there, I'm going to run out wide, I'm probably a little bit more wide than I'd want to be but it didn't slow me down, up to third gear. Now this next corner is a tricky one, you're just going to have to get the feel for it. So. As I run through, I'm just feeling for the grip in third gear. I drop it down to second very briefly just to get um, some more torque going on. Back up to third gear. And now for tricky turn seven. So again, there's no real braking markers that you can see. I, I use the seam across the road as a, uh, as a marker for myself. So as we come up to it, I'm going to brake briefly, very hard. Drop it down to second gear. And I'm still coming off the brakes here, into first. And then we're straight back on the brake again for turn eight. So again, just trailing it off, just managing the throttle throughout the corner to balance the car. Back on full throttle here. And now it's almost the same again for the next corner, turn 10. Up to second up to third. Now we come into turn 10. So the braking marker for that is the 50 meter on the left hand side. So as we get there, again, I'm going up to 100% throttle because I'm running 54% brake bias. That means I'm not locking up my, uh, my rears or my fronts on this corner. Trailing it off, flipping the throttle as I go to second, and then again into first. Car run out wide, use the rumble strip up to second, up to third, and now we're using the 50 meter marker on the right hand side, just as we're about to get there, breaking maximum force for, for myself in a straight line, trailing it off, dropping it down to second. Now you'll see me drop it down to first here. What actually happened is in testing a couple of times after this lap, I tried going through these last two corners in second, and it was actually about one and a half tenths faster. However, I couldn't get the, uh, the start of the lap to make it a faster lap. So whilst I'm dropping it down to first here, you can actually make this work in second. Give it a go. Let me know in the comments if you're faster through here in first or second. So you can drop or you can change up to second here. 
I'm just revving it out in first. Straight back on the throttle. And over and across the line in a 125. Zero four four. Now, as I say, um, my testing, my uh, optimal lap was a 24.7. So um, I did leave three tenths out there, most of them coming in those last two corners. So anyway, let's run through now on the chase cam, and I'll show you it at full speed. All right, let's go through the full speed run through on the chase cam. Over to the right, mid entry. A little lift, have the rumble strip, marshal post, brake hard, trail it off, down to second, big lift, get the rotation, try not to run as far out wide as I did, I just touched the sand there, that's probably where the other tenth is, feeling it through. Down to first for turn seven. Straight back on the uh, brake. So ideally you don't want to be going over these curbs. Just makes the wheels spin. Just kissing them lightly as I was doing that. Up to third. Braking hard in a straight line at the 50. Down to first gear, let it run out wide. Up to second. Up to third. 50 metre marker on the right hand side. So as I say, try keeping it in second here rather than dropping it down to first like I've done. And over and across the line. All right, one final time from the cockpit with the driving line on. Okay, here we go. Thanks for watching. I've been Sambo. I've been Sambo iRacing. I'll see you in the week. Cheers.